Lifebox is an international NGO working around the world to make surgery and anaesthesia safer. And in this video, we're going to learn more about the Lifebox Pulse Oximeter. The pulse oximeter is the most important monitor available in anaesthesia care and is also a critical tool for spot checking and continuous monitoring of oxygen saturation. It provides early warning of respiratory and circulatory problems by detecting levels of hypoxemia that are invisible to the naked eye. Understanding the design features of the Lifebox oximeter will allow the user to get the most out of it. This guide is designed to get you started with safe and effective use of your oximeter. Great, so now we know what the oximeter does, let's take a look at what is included in the life box. The oximeter is carefully packed for safe travel. Open the box and take out all of the pieces. You will have an oximeter in a yellow protective cover, a rechargeable battery, a charger and three different plug types, two probes, one adult and one pediatric, a pillow clip, a multi-language education tool, a user manual and quick start guide, and a welcome letter with a copy of the WHO surgical safety checklist. If any pieces of the equipment are missing or broken, contact Lifebox immediately by emailing oximeters at lifebox.org. Now that we know what's included in a Lifebox, let's take a look at the steps involved in setting it up. Now the first thing you might recall is that the Lifebox oximeter is run off a rechargeable battery. It's specially designed to fit the Lifebox oximeter, so it won't work with any other device. To install the battery, first you need to open the battery case. Turn the oximeter so that the screen is facing downwards and peel back the yellow cover until you can see the raised arrow. Rest the oximeter screen side down on a flat surface. Place your thumbs on the raised arrow, press down firmly and slide the battery case forward. Be careful not to press your fingers on the screen when you do this. Too much pressure and the screen might crack. Take the battery and insert it into the case. Make sure that the battery is facing the correct way. Slide the battery lid back onto the oximeter. You'll hear it click into place. The Lifebox oximeter uses a lithium ion battery the same as in a mobile phone, and there are certain steps you can take to make the battery last longer. The battery arrives already half charged, so please feel free to use the oximeter straight away. Then recharge the battery uninterrupted until it is fully charged. This will take about four hours. After that, it's better for the health of your battery not to let it go completely flat and not to overcharge it. This is a bit like your mobile phone. When it's fully charged, this battery should run for 12 to 16 hours. Note that readings can become inaccurate when the battery is very low. To charge the oximeter and battery, insert the small end of the AC-DC charger into the bottom of the oximeter and the pins into an electricity source. The Lifebox charger comes with three types of plug. Depending on which region you are in, you may need to remove the pins from the base of the charger and replace them with another set. The oximeter can handle some fluctuation in charging voltage, but current surges may damage the machine over time. If your power supply is very unstable, use a surge protector if possible and do not charge the oximeter at the same time as using it. In this way, you will protect the oximeter from overheating. The rechargeable battery is the most efficient way to power your oximeter, but if you have an emergency, don't forget that there are two other methods you can use. Three normal alkaline size AA batteries. Remove the rechargeable battery and insert the disposable batteries into the battery case. Just make sure that the plus and minus points are facing the right direction. You can use rechargeable AA batteries in the same way. You can also use the oximeter directly from the mains electricity. If you're going to use this method on a long-term basis, remove the rechargeable battery so that you do not cause the oximeter to overheat. If your rechargeable battery stops working, contact the person or organization who provided you with the oximeter or contact Lifebox directly. Next, you can attach the pillow clip. Plug the small plastic end of the clip into the small plastic piece already attached to the top of the oximeter. This is useful for securing the oximeter so that it doesn't fall, for example during transport. Now let's talk about the probes. When the oximeter is on, you'll see a small red light on one side of the oximeter pad, the LED, and the photo detector on the other side. The probe reads the light transmitted through the tissues 
and sends this information to the oximeter box. The Lifebox oximeter comes with two probes, an adult finger clip, which can also be used on the toe for smaller patients, and a pediatric finger clip. Neonatal wrap probes and ear clip probes are also available through Lifebox. Between patients, it is essential that you gently clean the probe and cord with medical alcohol. Small amounts of 70% alcohol-based hand rub will also work, but should be applied sparingly. It's important to keep the LED and photo detector clean. Please also remember to wash your hands following proper protocol between patients. The oximeter should be wiped down regularly using common detergent and non-corrosive disinfectant such as those used in hospitals. Be aware that many kinds of detergents must be diluted prior to use. The oximeter case and screen can be wiped with a lint-free soft cloth or a sponge moistened in detergent. While cleaning the oximeter, be careful not to spill liquid onto the instrument and do not allow any liquid to spill inside the oximeter. When wiping the side panel of the oximeter, be especially careful to keep liquid away from the cable and the outlet. To connect the probe to the oximeter, plug the base of the probe into the top of the oximeter here. Note that the probe only inserts one way. The pins are arranged in a sloping shape. It is very important that you check the angle of the pins and the angle of the receiving end of the oximeter before trying to connect the two. If you force the probe in upside down, you will bend the pins and the probe will no longer pick up a reading. When disconnecting and connecting the probe, grip the end firmly. Do not pull the cable to prevent the small wires inside from tearing. Test the probe on your own finger before using it on a patient. Assuming you are healthy, you should get normal readings for your oxygen saturation and heart rate. So now that we know how to set up the oximeter, let's talk about the controls. The first button to recognize is this one here, which is your on and off switch. Turn on, press and hold firmly until you hear a beep. To turn off, press and hold firmly until the screen goes blank. Right above it is a button that allows you to turn the pulse rate waveform on or off you can read the waveform to obtain additional information about your patient's circulation. To learn more, refer to the education tool or the Lifebox website, www.lifebox.org. On the opposite side, this button opens the menu. The button in the middle, the up-down, allows you to scroll through options in the menu. The menu allows you to change certain features, such as the volume of the beep and the alarm limits. For more information, consult the user guide. The beep of the oximeter changes with the oxygen saturation. This is a second set of eyes and ears and we recommend that you keep the beep of the oximeter audible at all times. Below the menu is a button that can silence the oximeter alarm but only for 120 seconds. The alarm goes off whenever the SpO2 or pulse rate falls below the range you have set unless the device has been silenced. Let's turn our attention to the display. There are no buttons on the display. That's important to keep in mind because too much pressure on the screen can damage it. On the display, you'll see a reading of your SpO2 as well as your pulse rate or heart rate. Don't forget that pressing the top right button will make the waveform appear. You'll also see that the screen rotates. If you turn it 90 degrees, the display information will follow. Another important point is around maintenance and repair. The Lifebox oximeter was specially designed for challenging environments. It doesn't need calibration, it's easy to clean, and it's robust. But if you have a problem with your oximeter, it's vital that you let somebody know. Do not let your oximeter sit in a cupboard where it can't help you or your patients. The Lifebox oximeter is under warranty, two years for the oximeter and one year for the probe. If your oximeter is out of warranty, it may still be possible to repair it. Contact information is written on the side of the oximeter. We know how hard you work to give care to your patients and we appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please let us know if you have any questions. And from everyone at Lifebox, thank you.